Okay guys, so today I'm going to be presenting a tutorial that's a little different. Usually I focus on Photoshop tutorials. Um, today it's it's still going to be based on post-editing, uh, but instead of being in Photoshop, it's going to be inside Camera Raw. Now you can do the same thing in Lightroom, which is what I usually use to edit photos. Um, it provides a the same amount of power as Photoshop, but it's an interface that's a lot easier and it gets the job done a lot faster, especially in the instance of Lightroom, which I highly recommend to anybody that's getting in photography. But today I'm just going to be using Camera Raw, which is an extension of Photoshop itself. So let's just get rid of Photoshop and open up Bridge. And I've browsed to the image I want to be working on. It's just going to be a quick stock photo I found. And the colors to me are kind of washed out. So let's fix that. So right click open in Camera Raw and here it is it's already opened up in Camera Raw for us now this is the wonder of Camera Raw itself you can open raw files which if you're going to be shooting and you have a choice of raw JPEG I always recommend raw it doesn't commit the color profile when you take the photo and allows for a lot of editing and a lot of manipulation and enhancing afterwards and if you use a JPEG though, you can always open it with RAW and edit it, but it's the color profile has already been set and it's a little harder to tweak things and RAW is just a better um, format all around in my opinion. So if your camera supports it, use it. So we've got our image in RAW. So what we want to do is bring some vibrance. The colors to me just are washed out. The greens, the sky is gray. It's just doesn't look too awesome in my opinion so just go to your vibrance slider bring it up and as I bring it up you can already tell if you go back to the photo there's a lot of change there's more vibrance <laughs> as the slider tells in the image uh, I can bring it just a little bit more and it brings out the greens and the grass and the trees and the blues in the sky in my opinion you can do a little bit more um, I'm going to kind of mess with the contrast a little bit and as you raise the contrast you're raising the brightness of the image as well a trick is if you're fixing photography and you have something that's overexposed you can always lower the contrast now this is going to create kind of a blur but at the same time it's going to be lowering the light level of the image I would recommend messing with exposure and contrast over just the brightness slider because you save a lot of information left in the photo so just with those two sliders we've already pretty much fixed our photo now I could finish it here this is done for all things accounted for but a lot of people when they're doing say wedding photography or school photos or photos in general they want a little bit of effect or flair to their image and in particular you see a lot of vignetting now traditionally this is done either through uh, development or in the lenses themselves but thankfully in Lightroom the process is simple uh, you can do the same thing in Photoshop through layers and deleting and opacity changes but in Camera Raw and Lightroom it's brought down to a slider so if we go to let's see lens corrections you're gonna see lens vignetting now when vignetting is done, it's traditionally done in either black or white corners. Now, if you're doing a black and white photo, white vignetting or light vignetting is all right in my opinion, but I almost always lean towards darkening the corners with the black. So as we move the slider to the left, you can see that the corners are starting to darken. Uh, vignetting can be very subtle, but it has a very powerful effect in my opinion. So it's set to about 35 and you can tell the corners aren't completely black they're just darkened a little bit but it kind of brings in the atmosphere of the photo so at this point it's done if you want you can bring it into Photoshop and add some text or a little bit more effects maybe sharpen the image a little bit or you can just save it from here in fact, if you did want to sharpen it, if you zoom in full here, you can see it's kind of blurry. It's a pretty good stock photo, but you could go back to your basic tab and bring up the clarity a little bit. And 
really I almost always boost the Claritis slider or bring it to the positive. It just, I don't know, well, it brings some clarity to the image and makes it almost always look a little better. So, let's fit it to view and we're pretty much done. It's that easy within Camera Raw and this directly transfers, like I've been saying, to Lightroom. Uh, that's pretty much it. I'm going to try to do more tutorials that aren't just Photoshop centered. I'm going to try to branch myself out into the other applications in the Adobe Suit and maybe even other uh, image manipulation and video editing applications as well. Not everybody has Photoshop and some people are stuck with some of the lesser priced or even free applications so I'm going to try to branch myself out into those areas and use those applications and show that they can be just as powerful with the right